When the clock strikes 4 p.m. on March 15, the Dallas Cowboys and the rest of the NFL can officially sign free agents and orchestrate trades if they choose to do. Heading into this year's free agency, the Cowboys will have their hands full as they will have 22 players that they will need to decide on re-signing. Some notable names include running back Tony Pollard, tackle Terrence Steele, tight end Dalton Schultz, cornerback Anthony Brown, and linebackers Leighton Van Der Esch and Anthony Barr. While I'm not here to tell you which internal players they should keep, I wanted to discuss other matters. And there is a free agent outside that they should sign in the key position they are in need of is tight end Mike Gesicki. One of the big storylines the Cowboys will have this season is whether it's worth re-signing tight end, Dalton Schultz. Last offseason, we saw the front office go through this obstacle, and they eventually franchise-tagged him as they couldn't agree on a new contract. Fast forward to now, it's shaping that the franchise will have to go through the same situation, but this time a franchise tag may not be an option. If you look at Spotrac, you see that Schultz's current market value is at $15 mil ion, which would project him as the second highest paid tight end in the NFL. Now is he worth that much money? Who knows? However, if the front office feels strongly about moving on from him and diverting their money toward other free agents, this is where tight end Mike Gesicki steps in. A former second-round pick by the Miami Dolphins, Gesicki started his NFL career slow but exploded in 2020 and 2021 as he finished both years with 700-plus yards. He would go through the same situation that Schultz went through last offseason regarding a long-term extension, but he got franchise tagged too, now a free agent, many expect him to be on a new team next year, so why not the Cowboys? First off, his current market value is only $8 mil ion. Second, although his stats dropped this past season, he was massively underutilized, he has shown that he can be an elite option in the passing game. Adding Gesicki would provide a veteran option to the team if they moved on from Schultz. And you wouldn't have to rely solely on rookie tight ends Jake Ferguson and Peyton Hendershot next season.